doing a reading vlog this week. I have no idea how this is gonna go. And sorry for the light. Um, I just got home. It's a little after five. It's Monday the 4th. Murphy's water fountain is running with water. It's making an obnoxious noise. He is also making an obnoxious noise. I need to clean his fountain too. Yes, Murphy. Um, I might need to replace the filter actually in his fil his fountain. Yes. You want tuna? Yes, you can have tuna today. Don't knock my knee. Okay. And I came home to so much mail. <laughs> Um, I came home, let's see if I can do this by hiding my address, to the best mail, my Magical Express things, um, cause I'm going to Disney World, and then I got tons of mail from the bank, including this huge thing. I just opened a bank account at a new bank, well like, new to me, I only bank at like one bank, and I opened this bank account for a reason. Um, I'm a little apprehensive about it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and uh, where I bank, it's a credit union, and every time I've opened it, I've had an account there since I was like a baby. So, like every account I've had to open, I've been able to do online, and they do not send me all this stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, this is crazy. I knew I was getting a debit card, which I think that's what this is, but I'm guessing this is like account opening paperwork or something. But this came FedEx, like, and was sitting outside my door. So I'll have to go through that. Um, and then hello. So I am re- oh, and I got my owl crate. I'll unbox that in a minute. Um, I'm just gonna do that on here, I think. Um, I'm gonna open my magical- oh no, wait and take a picture of it. <laughs> um, I am currently reading, well, like, four books, if you count my nighttime read, which I've been really slacking on. I'm currently reading on audio Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey, and um, I've listened to some Dave Ramsey before. Generally, I agree with him. I'm not an all-cash person. <laughs> hey, you go put your face in there. Okay, what are you reading? Don't... Um, like I am really opposed to debt, but I'm not opposed to using credit cards. Um, but I do think that you should be smart about it. But anyways, it is interesting and he narrates it himself, which I like. Um, and then I am almost done with Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which I'm loving, which blows my mind because it's about Z like Zane <laughs> is in it from The Dark Elements. And I hated Zane with a burning passion so um it's kind of surprising but Trinity is just perfect um and then I'm reading an ER I'm reading The Princess Plan by Julia London it is such a disappointment I'm like forcing myself to read it I would have DNF'd it but because it's a review copy I feel like I need to read it so um, I ate kind of a late lunch, but I have dance. I'm gonna have to eat dinner at some point. Cause I always all like pass out at dance. So I think I'm gonna go unbox the owl crate and then do a couple things, get changed, eat dinner, and hopefully you read some. We'll see. Last week I did not read a lot during the week, so this could be very boring. We'll see. But let's check out the owl crate. Okay. Hopefully you don't fall down. Um, so, this is the, um, Call Down the Hawk Owl Crate, which I kind of bought impulsively. When I bought this, I had not read any of the Raven Cycle, and I've still only read two books, so I'm obviously not going to read this, but I figured I'd buy it. <laughs> I like that it's black. I like that they changed it. I, I'm new to Owl Crate and stuff, and I didn't used to really watch the videos either, so, um... I, like, I don't know if this is what they normally do for special boxes, but where's the thing? And I couldn't find real scissors, so I have these 
scissors that are really for cutting mats out of Murphy's hair when he gets them. He's usually pretty good though. You're good at cleaning yourself and keeping yourself mat free. Okay, so. I mean, obviously it's like, and I think this whole box was like, if not curated by Maggie Steve Otter, it was like, you're just on a stack of books. This is going to be dangerous. It was like approved by Maggie. Um, so yeah, so I'm not going to look at this. So Call Down the Hawk, a box in collaboration with Maggie Steve Otter. Hello. Is that in on you, but I just like a blanket, a scarf, a pin. No, you really like the fuzz, the little. He loves the like paper things. I think they'll make you sick, honey. Um. Is it like? A pillowcase? Oh, they are! It says, you are made of dreams. And there's two of them. So, yeah, they are pillowcases. That's really cool. And, like, bed pillowcases. I almost would prefer that they were, like, throw pillows. <laughs> but, cases, but that's fine. That's cute! This looks like a hat. Like a winter hat. It's a little pom pom, and it says dreamer. It actually feels pretty heavy. It's kind of nice. Let's see. Will it fit on my head? I feel like I have, like, I don't feel like I have a big head when I look at I know this is really low, but this is like peak actually using it to keep yourself warm. Okay. It'll work. Because I live somewhere where it does get cold. So obviously I could have put that on better, but oh yeah, that's cute. It's very warm, so that'll be nice in the winter. Um, a candle. Um, it's called Night Wash. It's blackberry, sage, and rosemary. Hmm. And there's like things in it. Oh, just like a label. It's rose and adder, and then like a star thing. Um, and it's like a wooden wick, so I wonder if it flickers. I don't, okay, so, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Um, I don't burn a lot of candles. Um, I'll probably put this on my shelf, though. I don't burn a ton of candles ever since I got the Murphy Cat, because I feel like there, I've gotten conflicting information on essential oils, and, um, I know that if you... If you burn, like if you, um, hey, don't bite me just because I won't let you in the box. I know that if you, like, diffuse essential oils, like true essential oils, it can be dangerous to your pets, especially cats because they're so small, like dogs too, but generally cats are smaller than most dogs. So, um, and a lot of candles are made with essential oils. So, I'm just like, when I first got him, I was afraid to bring candles because I was afraid he'd set himself on fire. He never did that. Um, but then I heard more about that, so I'm really apprehensive about burning them. So when I do, I typically only burn them in the kitchen and, um, like, very limited amount of time. So, I don't know. I'm probably just, like, an excessive worrier, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'd rather that <laughs> and he live. Um... And then this is the pin. Because they do a pin every month. Um, oh, it's like a keychain. That's really pretty. It's really heavy, too. This is by Brio and Brand Brandish. Is that right? It's super heavy. It's, like, really substantial. Um... Oh, that's just a photo challenge thing. I think these are socks. Yeah, ley line socks. That's cute. Um, I just saw the book. Ah! Oh, okay. 
And so here is the necklace. Is that tight in there? Yeah, okay. I have a tendency to have necklaces break on me, so. Can you focus? It's like chainsaw on top. I don't know if I would wear that very often, but it is really pretty. I'd wear it like around Halloween and stuff, I guess. Um, and then the book. So obviously the book is called On the Hawk. That's not a surprise and that's not what I was like super excited about. I was excited because it's different, which I was kind of wondering if it would have a different cover, which Owl Crate typically does, um, but still you never know, right? And this is my first special box, so what do I know? But here, let me take it out of the uh, plastic. Um, and of course it comes with a note from Maggie, but I actually don't particularly like the cover for this book. Um, and I especially don't like the color. So this is freaking gorgeous. Look at the blue. It's so much better than the orange. No offense. I hate like orange and reds and stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh. And it is signed, which I think all the Owl Crate books are and stuff. But, oh my gosh, this is so much prettier. And I feel like this will match the actual, rate, like the original Raven Cycle books better. Although, the one downside with this, I guess, is like it is a series. So does that mean it won't match the other series, the other books when they come out? I don't know. Um, but that's really pretty. I'm not going to read the synopsis or anything because I have not finished the Raven Cycle. That was really fun and cute. These are really awesome things. Okay, so let me do stuff, get changed, hang out, eat dinner, watch some YouTube, hopefully read. I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> Hello. It's Tuesday. It's, oh my gosh, it's like 6.15. I don't have a lot of time. <clears throat> I like just got home I'm warming up my dinner I did vote because it's election day in the US so I went and did that that's part of why I'm home later I also went to Walmart and bought some uh, long sleeve shirt because the heater is out in my dance studio <clears throat> and last night Billy it was like freezing and I wore full length leggings and a sweatshirt um, and normally belly does make me sweat so I was a little unsettled um, and my feet were like freezing um, like my toes never warmed up I almost asked if we could jump because I was hoping that would warm me up but honestly like I'm not sure it would have been safe for like us to jump first of all it's probably not safe for us to jump we're all like old um you know but even with that I'm not sure we would have been warm enough to jump so but today is tap which tap is usually the class that I like sweat the most. I didn't sweat at all yesterday in ballet. So I'm scared. On the plus side, I'll have socks and a fairly thick shoe. My tap shoes are pretty thick. I think all tap shoes are pretty thick. Um, so hopefully that'll help with my feet. But I decided to buy this so I could have something, it's like looser than my other stuff I don't know um to wear to try and be warmer um I didn't read or listen to anything today I was really behind on podcasts so I was listening to podcasts while I was driving and stuff instead of my audiobook and I'll probably do that tonight too and from dance as well um I did read a little bit of the princess plan for like hot second there I was like oh and then it didn't get any better which is really sad. It's fine. My plan was to try and finish Storm and Fury today, but now that I got home so late, I don't think it's gonna happen because I'll get home from dance around, I have to leave around seven and I'll get home around nine and I do have to do some other stuff tonight. So we'll see. I probably won't read today though, which sucks, but it's fine. I did get another package in the mail today. 
However, I got a package from Bye Bye Baby because I have a baby shower this weekend. I'm so excited. My One of my cousins is having her first kid. So I bought stuff for that. Super last minute for me, but it's fine. Um, I also placed an Amazon order yesterday. I bought books I wanted for November as well as books for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing in December. So that's exciting. I've never done a giveaway before, but I'm really excited about it. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. That was a lot of money I spent, um, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I have wanted to do a giveaway for a long time, and now that I can like afford it, more like I make more money than I used to like when I first started well when I first started my channel I was in college and I probably made like 10 grand a year or something like between <laughs> my two jobs um but even at my call center job um I was not making like enough money at all but now I make more money so I can give away books and I'm really excited about it so I'm gonna eat my dinner I'm gonna watch some YouTube um, I'm so excited because Cody, I think her channel is Cody's Book Corner, just posted her Wheel of TBR video and those are like my favorite videos. I get so excited about them. I could never do my TBR that way, but I think it's so fun. I love that she does it. Um, I'll link that below. Um, so I'm going to watch that. I'm already changed for dance. I'm wearing some alien leggings and um or toy story leggings i guess but i saw an alien when i put them on so whatever um yeah and i will let you know if i read anything probably not though hello oh i have a murphy cow come to see me i'm horrible and i didn't film for the last like three days <coughs> <coughs> it's um uh, a mess over there is a mess everywhere it's Saturday the, what, 9th? I was listening to Bountiful on Audible on my way home and I was grocery shopping. Yes, the 9th. I just had a baby shower and then for my cousin and then there was like a playground outside and it's cold. It was like, let's see what temperature it actually is. I just had a bath. Um... Yeah, it's 37 right now. It's probably like 40. It's like, sun was sort of out. It was pretty overcast. But, um, and one of my cousins, her daughter wanted to go outside, but my cousin was in like heels, so she couldn't go outside. So she asked if I would go with her, and I said, sure. I was not prepared for this. I'm not also, I'm also not very good with kids. Um, it was very cold, but I survived. The baby survived. Baby, she's two. Um, I wouldn't let her do one thing because I like it was one of those like playground jungle gym things where like you kind of like climb up it, and I was comfortable with her climbing up it, but not getting on to the actual playground structure because there was no way for me to ensure she would get up there, like make this step up. Um, like I just couldn't reach her without climbing on the structure myself and then it's like how am I going to make myself stable and her stable and then she wanted to, she got up there by like regular steps and then wanted to come down that way and I wouldn't let her do that but she listened to me which is good um I mean I feel bad but I like I wasn't gonna risk her getting hurt um I don't think she would have gotten hurt if she had fallen but you know not a risk I was willing to take so I then I went grocery shopping I just had to buy a couple things hey what are you doing no um I finished storm and fury this morning finally because I ended up taking like well I came home last night and I took a nap <laughs> which turned in and this is ink we for the baby shower we did thumbprints um I took a nap, which turned me just going to bed, which sucks because I would have liked to get stuff done, but it's fine. I got a decent amount done this morning. I'll get more done tonight, and then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get everything done I want to do. 
Um, I would have loved to film today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, and now it's dark. Which, like, I can film when it's dark, but we'll see. I'm kind of tired because I was outside. <laughs> and, like, that's exhausting, and I was, like, running around after a kid. Um, but I did finish Storm and Fury. <sighs> I gave it four stars. It was so close to five stars, but I really struggle to give first books in series five stars because it's like you expect the series to get better. So I always like to leave like wiggle room. I don't know, but it was so good. And I think it was such a pleasant surprise because Zane, I could not stand in the darkest elements. I may have said this already. So to really like him as a character was just amazing um to me um and trinity is amazing their story is so cool i'm so invested and i think the next one comes out in like this summer of 2020 which kind of sucks but it's fine this is a big book and i'm sure the next one will be big too yeah let me double check goodreads and then i really need to finish the princess plan but i have like Yep, it comes out June 9th. Yeah, no ex no page count yet. Which doesn't surprise me because I'm sure she's still working on it. Well, this is fine. Okay. Hardcover says 576. Maybe she's not still working on it. I don't know. Um, But it was really good. I'm really glad I read it. Um, And I'm very excited to keep going. But now I need to get some stuff done and then read The Princess Plan because I need to read it even though I'm really not enjoying it. But I need to read it because it's in the arc. Um, so yeah, I need to do that. Hopefully not take a nap. Let's go. This is not bode well. My eyes are watering now because of the cold. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a champion. I will power through. Oh my gosh, I just filmed a video, I just filmed three videos, two Christmas tags, and then a discussion video, which I think will be up before this vlog, and I'm really scared about the discussion video, I don't know why, because like nobody watches my videos, so it's not like anyone's gonna care, but I am still concerned. Um, yeah, oh, let me take you off your little thingy here. Although I do have reading updates, so I finished The Princess Plan. It actually got a little better, um, however, and I almost gave it three stars, and then I was like, no, I'm gonna give it two, because the like first 60% was so poor that, like I said before, I would have DNF'd it. I did clean my living room, aren't you proud of me? Um. I would have DNF'd it if I wasn't doing a review of it. So I feel like you have to DNF for that because, or you have to take off for that because I wouldn't have gotten to the better parts of the story if I wasn't basically forcing myself to do so. Um, so there's that. Also, I don't 100% buy the romance in it. Uh, personally, it just felt a little lacking, I guess. I don't know. I need to think about it because I have to write my review. We'll see. Um, and then I just started reading, where is it? I bought this recently. I think it was a Heather from Bookables, like, recommendation, and that is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I'm, like, 20 pages into it and loving it it's so cute it is reading like a rom or like a rom-com like an old school a rom-coms even like still really a thing anymore i don't think they are um like i feel like they are but they're not the same as they were in like the 90s and the early 2000s um but it's just like it's giving me like 27 dresses feels like like these two people who are kind of like not getting along but I don't know I'm really enjoying it like I said I'm only like 20 pages into it but I am really liking it which is good because I'm it's disappointing if you don't like a book right <laughs> um I was gonna say something else 
Oh, I am also catching up on Survivor because um, I'm a few episodes behind. So I watched episode five, right? Yes, last night. Um, so I think I'm two behind now. No. Yes, I think they just did episode seven. Yes. No Rob and Sandra this episode. Well, they're, they were, but barely. That was very sad. I'm basically watching for Rob and Sandra. But it's fine. I'm also uploading a video, which I feel like is stuck, so it's probably not stuck. Sometimes my internet does this like weird thing. Yeah, it is done, okay. So I'll do that. And I cleaned, I have to cook. I'm doing really lazy food prep this week, which I'm very happy about. So that's my updates. I think Murphy is taking a nap. I think I'm going to read a little bit more, maybe have a snack or two, and get back to work. I gotta do some editing, some Disney stuff, more cleaning it looks like. I'm looking at my to-do list. <laughs> But yeah, so I will update you at some point, hopefully today, don't forget, and I will talk to you later. Hello. Let me pause YouTube. I am, I'm changing some editing. I was just reading Well Met some more, which I'm still loving. I'm like almost 200 pages into it, and I'm like loving it. It's so adorable. It's giving me like real hating game vibes like the same feelings I had while watch reading the hating game I have while reading this I'm like loving it um oh it's so cute oh it's like the best purchase I've made all year um and Do we have any sparkling water suggestions? Leave them below. Because I'm trying to get off pop. And I'm on, I'm going on like week four here, which is really good. This Schweppes is probably the best I've had. Oh, I think I think that girl at work told me to get Canada dry and I got the other ginger ale brand. <laughs> There's some from Walmart, which I actually do really like, but I think it's really sweet, which is why I probably like it. Mm. It has aspartame in it, which, um, I know people have feelings about. I don't particularly, but I guess it's better to not consume it than to consume it if that makes any sense I don't know so I'm just trying to find something because I really like the bubbles that's like my favorite that's my other thing is the Walmart one I buy has is so carbonated and any of the other ones I've ever tried are not very carbonated um and I don't like LaCroix I can tell you that um I think I'll probably read a little bit more tonight. Um, it's like 7.30. Uh, so I have like th just under three hours before I want to try to go to bed. Um, and um, uh, so I'll watch some more YouTube. I'm getting caught up on videos. I was also organizing, putting books away in my like library. And I'm... I am so confused. Sorry for like all of like the light. I'm not going to turn them off. Um, I feel like I need to rearrange my books. I hate that all my books can't be in the same room. Like, and I literally thought my living room is massive. I've now tried to divide it into two separate rooms. And I have considered turning the library, which is really like the dining room in my apartment, into my living room 
so that the living room can be the library just because it's a bigger space um but the problem is is I can't fit my couches and my TV in there I could probably fit one couch and the TV in there um well I know I could because I had a couch up there for a little while um I think I did during the reading rush um and then I guess I could leave a couch in the living room I don't know I I should not have thought of that because now I'm gonna want to do it and I do not have time to rearrange my whole apartment but part of the problem is so I'm like okay just put books on shelves it's fine it doesn't matter but I really want to do a bookshelf tour sometime this year and it'll have to be in December I have an idea of when I want to do it and it's like well if I'm gonna do it I want my books to be like laid out well I don't know so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm having a crisis <sighs> but maybe I'll just do a bookshelf tour and then like after the holidays or something I'll rearrange then it is hard because like I have artwork up in the living room with the intention of this being a living room like I've made like a gallery wall over here above the TV and everything plus if I put the TV up there I would most likely put it on the far wall which is where the white bookshelves are up there um just because that would make the most sense although I guess I could mm, I was gonna say I could put it over here where that little like pass through thing is but the TV I think might be too tall and I would just be too afraid of a certain somebody um, goofing around and then knocking the TV over this is that somebody um, I don't know but if I put it against that far wall then there's the chance that the sun will shine directly on it because the window I have like a big sliding glass door um, on the opposite wall in the living room so I don't know it's a struggle <sighs> I'll think about it plus I was planning I had divide like I said I divided my living room so half of it is gonna be more of like a crafting area and a sewing area and then the other half would be like living room area but then I have this area over here that's just weird and random. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'm, like, never happy with my apartment and how it's laid out. <laughs> I've never been happy since I've been here. I don't know. Plus, I bought all these new bookshelves. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, I need to stop thinking about this. I have things to do. Um, but I think this will be my last update for the night. If I do again, I do. But if not... Love you. <sighs> it has been a decent reading week. Um, I read, I completed three books this week and I'm almost done with Bountiful, my audiobook. I'll probably finish it tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, but probably tomorrow because I have dance. So I will be driving to and from dance. So that'll give me more time and well met. Will hopefully get finished by tomorrow because I'm loving it I'm gonna be so sad if I can't read again until the weekend um, and I'm excited because Serpent and Dove is the next book I plan on reading and I'm really excited about that that was on my October TBR and I didn't get to it so to finally get to that and then I might finally get to Sinful I guess by Kristen Becker Ritchie I've been like putting it off I mean I have been spoiled so it it's fine <laughs> but I am a little like scared to read it I guess I don't know why but I am so hopefully that'll get read soon um <sighs> so I'm going to edit a video probably cuddle with this hooligan over here watch some more YouTube and try to go to bed at a reasonable time like a mature adult <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye